Stop! One. And look, where there is another. A little friend over there. <laughs> Previously on our wild ventures. She is digging up this big mound so she can lay her egg. Oh, what? <laughs> There's something about watching the sun rise and all the birds rejoicing with a new day beginning. My heart was just so full. I've been addicted to waking up early to watch the sun rise ever since. This juvenile booby bird was just so unperturbed. It allowed me to just sit with it. I was on my elbows and my knees on the sand, balancing my iPhone and trying not to move too much. But it was such a special moment that I was just allowed to share that little space and time with this bird. Amazing. As you may have seen in our previous episode, all that sand which you can see now was actually full of water last night. All that was left was just that little bit of sand where the two camp stretchers are. It was a bit scary, but we made it through the night, fortunately. No crocodiles. The tide's way out, which is my favorite time to go exploring. I'm so excited with days like this because you never know what you're gonna find. There's always a huge array of life on the mud flats when the tide's gone out. It would be great if we could find some mud crabs for dinner. <laughs> Before we started exploring, we decided to have some breakfast. In Ricky's excitement, eating his breakfast. Of course he dropped a bit of his bacon and egg wrap on the sand. <laughs> and because of this, we have front row seats for the Hermit Crab comedy show. I never get bored watching Hermit Crabs. I can watch them all day long. I find them so funny, as you can probably tell by now. <laughs> So we're on low tide now. It's actually, if she's hard to imagine, but last night we were walking up here to look at the turtles and the water, as you can see, actually spilling over the top of here. Um, yeah, it's huge tides, massive tides.
Margie's found a little lizard that she's looking at. I didn't think there was any reptiles here, but obviously there is. You can see all the toad tracks from last night. That turtle's actually just recently gone back. So this is where they dig to bury their eggs. Some sort of get halfway through and then just abandon it. Um, yeah, all the way up the beach, there's just turtle tracks everywhere. As you can see, there are lines across the sand, which are turtle tracks heading up the beach. This would have happened throughout the night. Now the same turtles at this time of the day would have now made their way back into the water. If you look closely enough, you can see them in the water, close to the shoreline. Miss Wendy and I actually discovered this turtle upside down on the sand. We figured that he could have been tipped over by a wave during the incoming tide that morning. We didn't know how long he's been upside down for before we came and found it. I was so worried that it was starting to get quite hot. So in my haste to turn this turtle over, I forgot to record us flipping him back the right way up. However, I do have a scar on my shin to prove it when it just whacked me. <laughs> Luckily for us, because of the sunrise, you can see how beautiful the colors are on his shell. We were so happy watching it swim back to sea. How is your walk? Too bad. Not too bad. What time? What's it? <laughs> you were more successful than we were in our little jaunt. <laughs> this one is over there. <laughs> That is amazing, Betty. Fantastic. And did you have to walk far? Walk far, yeah. You did? <laughs> not many crab people. The holes over there, but nothing, no crab. Okay. When you first look at this mud, it doesn't appear that there's anything really alive, but I was a bit intrigued by all these holes. So I thought I'd just leave the GoPro here and um, yeah, and, and see what happens. often watch in awe at how graceful and high these frigate birds tend to fly. 
It's so amazing to learn that they continuously have 10 second micro sleeps whilst they're flying. Apparently, they use a rising air currents while sleeping to stop them from falling to the ground. They also have micro sleeps on the ground whilst nesting and for longer periods of a minute each per sleep. All up, they can sleep for approximately 12 hours per day. Now that is a lot of mini sleeps. <laughs> look, we're just walking across the mud flats and look what we've found. Wow. It is a mud crab trying to pretend that it's not. <laughs> but we know it is. Cool. <laughs> Stop! Stop right there! Stop right there! <laughs> I could do! I could just grab you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> so lucky, man! I live another day! Woo! <laughs> I need to put my foot behind it. Wait, God, be careful. Wait, far out. I need to be behind it. Oh, it knows how to do it. <laughs> Look who the winner is. It tried to grab me 50 million times, but I did successfully grab him in the right place. Look, just there. <laughs> cool. This is so exciting. This little walk in the creek this time of the morning. Really, we were just looking for, I don't know, whatever it is, but look, one, and look where there is another. A little friend over there <laughs> is hiding. Oh, so cool. And then there's another one over on the other side. How low? Can you see? <laughs> it's insane! <laughs> we are feasting tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Have a look. These are just baby booby birds and frigate birds just nesting next to each other. How cool is that? To see. Follow our wild ventures by clicking on the subscribe button now. It is absolutely free to subscribe. Have a look at how many birds there are. All of those birds sitting on their nests are mostly juvenile birds waiting for their mothers to return. Thank you, beautiful birds.
just waiting for the tide to come in now. Ricky's rearranged the back anchor over here, close to your boat, and then the front anchor is actually now closer. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at this filling in so fast! Wow! Wow, have a look! This is the water! When it goes out fast, it comes in just as fast. And the whole lagoon will just be filled with water. Hopefully enough for a boat. No, we know. <laughs> Look at this, mud pack. Nice, cool. <laughs> we have about 45 minutes to an hour to wait and uh, then we should be able to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's tempting to stay, but uh, we have some really good weather coming up and I'd love to head a bit further north. I am so in love with nature because of this island. How could the turtles live and breed in the same island as thousands of birds? The symbiosis of life is so evident in this place. It is possible to live side by side, in harmony unhurriedly. It is always bittersweet leaving a beautiful place, but it's time to go. Follow our wild ventures by clicking on the subscribe button now. It is absolutely free to subscribe. Join us in the next episode for our wild ventures. We had to believe this straight away. We saved this um, coral trout from the crocodile. <laughs> Subscribe and follow our wild ventures on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.